Money for housing, not for war. Money for housing, not for war. Hear the people shout. Bankers, come out. Hear the people shout. Bankers, come out. Hear the people shout. Bankers, come out. Hear the people shout. Nothing but respect and love for the employees of this hotel. This is not against you. You are sisters and brothers. We are not here to make your job any more difficult. Because we love you. But we're losing our homes. We're here because we are we're bitter. Foreclosures just last month, the month of March 2008. We're angry that more and more people are being evicted from homes and apartments. And we know that inside your hotel today, there's a conference of the so called Mortgage Bankers Association. We know they got Wells Fargo in there. Bear Stern, City Corp. All of them in there. This morning in Dorchester, Boston, the sheriff was supposed to evict a family, family of 10 people, four adults and six children, African-American family, six children all under the age of five from a two-family home in Dorchester. 75 activists, including many of their neighbors, showed up and they vowed to stop anybody from stepping on that house and evicting anyone. And you know what? The mayor got an idea about 8 a.m. this morning. And he called the sheriff and he said, don't do it. Don't, don't, don't do this. This is not going to look good. This may not even go well. And this is happening more and more that people's neighbors are gonna to come to their home when the sheriffs come to take their furniture and all of their life's belonging. And they're gonna say, hell no, this family won't go. And we will have a people's moratorium. I am one of the volunteer organizers from Baltimore and the Washington DC area. And I have a very short message for the Mortgage Bankers Association and for anyone out here who's listening. And that is that the people of Baltimore, Maryland, the people of PG County, the people of Washington, D.C., Montgomery County, and all throughout our state, we are angry and we will not take it anymore. The bankers got bailed out. Their sons got $20 million. If that's not a moratorium on bank closing, then I don't know what is. We need a moratorium on us losing our homes. That's right. We are angry. And I tell you, we're not going to blame it on ourselves. Greed, the outright greed and audacity of the banks and the major corporations who are running this country. Congress, this recent Senate bill is nothing more than a handout. Tax breaks to investors who want to come into the city where I'm from, where they want to invest and become slumlords and put people out in the street. I cannot tell you the number of calls that we have received from people who are either losing their homes or who have lost their homes or being evicted. They came out a week before Christmas, threw us out of our house, told my mother's um, antique furniture up, took our stove and Just drug it down the stairs and said, bounced down the stairs if they took my mother's furniture out. You sitting here laughing, think about how you would feel. Right. We are the people. People work hard for yeah. all these banks to have the money that they have in it. It's our money that you have in those banks. We use our money every day to negotiate for rich people and not for the people.
We had houses when Katrina came, Katrina took our houses. And you still want to keep us out in the street. I'm here for these people because these people are trying to save what houses they have. My name is Ivy Parker and I'm from New Orleans. I'm living in New York. I'm part of the Solidarity Community for Rita Katrina Survivors. We want justice. We want justice here in America. All of us decide. We all deserve to have a place to stay. It is an a human right. It's an American right. And you promise to take care of your people, so do your job. Good afternoon, if it's any good at all. These banks, they have not just a skeleton in the cupboard, they got graves in their cupboards. You cannot stand here and say to the people they have no right to life. You got a goddamn cat by the tail when you grab a hold of us, you understand that? These people, they, they, they tired as hell and they ain't gonna take no more. Is that right, gang? Yeah. We're tired as hell and we ain't gonna take no more. It's hell and we ain't gonna take no more. You want to target us? So we're gonna fight back and we've done that. So we've taken care of business in East New York. We are driving out the predators. We are working with homeowners to stop their foreclosures and to target those who have targeted them and target us. You must understand that for the moms and dads and women who have committed suicides, for those who have lost their lives, that we cannot stand silent anymore. And we demand justice now. Power to the people! We've got to globalize solidarity, and that's what we plan to do on May Day. And that's why I'm joining you here today to say this is a right-on struggle. Our young mortgage bankers in Cuba who meet in hotels behind these fucking walls, away from the people who deserve to be in that meeting. We deserve to be. These are our homes, our jobs, our children, our education system. We deserve to be beyond these walls. And then they send our people, black people, immigrants, working people, to stand between us and them. We will not take this anymore. Together we stay here, right where we belong. We ain't gonna move. can't be counted on to protect and to serve us. The criminals are inside the bank. Cops in U.S. society stand between the great masses and people like the bankers that are in this hotel. They are standing in between us and the bankers. Unite and fight, cause peace and housing is a right. Unite! And fight, cause peace and housing is the right.